evaluate the expression for x not equal to 0. So in this problem, uh, x is a real number, and it's not equal to 0. So the first thing we can do is rewrite the numerator as follows. Whenever you have um, the absolute value of negative x, that's the same thing as the absolute value of x. So you can just drop the negative sign uh, inside the absolute value, and we still have the negative x on the bottom. All right, so now we have to work this piece out. So to do this, we're going to use the definition of absolute value. So the absolute value of x is equal to x. And this will be true if x is greater than or equal to 0. And the absolute value of x is equal to minus x. And this will be true if x is less than 0. So now we just have to do each piece individually. So if x is greater than or equal to 0, we have this piece here. We're focusing on this. So the top piece is going to be x. So it's x over negative x. And that gives us negative 1. If x is less than 0, then the absolute value of x is negative x. So again, focusing on this piece here, we'll have the absolute value of x. I showed an extra step there over negative x. But then the top piece is just negative x. So it's negative x over negative x, and so that's equal to 1. And so now we can write our final answer as a piecewise function. So it's going to be two pieces. So the first piece will be negative 1. So negative 1. And that will be true if x is greater than or equal to 0. And the bottom piece is 1. And that will be true if x is less than 0. And this is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful.